Hey everybody, welcome back. Stonebroke Adventure, Lee Pulse sent me a 100 amp hour, 12 volt mini lithium iron phosphate battery to bring you guys an up close look, run a couple simple tests on it. Actually, we're gonna uh, put it in parallel in our solar generator project that we had recently completed to increase that capacity to 200 amp hours. So let's go ahead and start off. We're gonna go ahead and just open this thing up. Nice user manual, little zipper bag. We'll take a look at that user manual in a second. All right, there it is. All right, 100 amp hour mini, nothing else in the box. These batteries are gonna come uh, 50, 70% charge. First thing you're gonna wanna do on a lithium battery is charge this up to its full capacity. We're gonna do that before we run any tests on it. Nice carry handles on that. Let's get some measurements. Yeah, the overall dimensions on this battery are, looks like nine inches wide. We have about five and a half inches deep. And how tall is this? Looks like about eight, eight and a quarter tall to the top surface. They sent us two different size terminal bolts, right? One's a little bit longer than the other. And that's if you have a couple different wires or accessories running off at the top of this, you need that extra space. Inside your little zipper pack, it's gonna come with just a real simple uh, information pamphlet, right? Kind of this user guide right here. These are just all of your little parameters. They're calling this the service card, but you can see here the information that it gives you. Right, all the information here. It's saying uh, recommended 20 amp uh, charge capacity, but up to 100 amp charge capacity. Discharge capacity, max 100 amps, but 200 amps for three seconds. So the self-discharge rate on this thing is 3% per month. So this can the shelf life on this is really high. You can set, charge these up, set them on a shelf, and it'll take months and months for these things to actually discharge down to zero. You can hook four of these batteries in parallel or four of them in series. We're gonna go ahead and test this with the Maker Hawk uh, load capacity tester and uh, see if this actually has the 100 amp hours that they're advertising. I think that's the most important factor on these, that they are actually selling these and they do have that 100 amp hour capacity. So let's go ahead and hook the tester up. We're gonna get this test started. If you look in comparison with the existing battery I have, this is a mini battery, 100 amp hour capacity in a small space. So you can fit these in compact areas, but it is, right? It's that standard size mini, right? There's all the rest of the mini batteries out there, right? Definitely like comparable, the same size. Okay, you can see here we have the Maker Hawk hooked up, right? It is fully charged. We have 13.7 volts full charge on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and start this test. This is a 150 watt uh, load capacity tester. We're not going to run it that high. We have plenty of time to run this. You can see here, we have the watts that we're drawing on this. That's the amps we're drawing. There's the amp hours. Uh, and our countdown timer. I think the most important thing is this amp hours as we run this test. So we're gonna turn this thing up to uh, maybe 10 amps. We do not want to exceed the 150 watt capacity of this tester. All right, we're gonna run this at nine amps. We're at 128 watts. Uh, this is gonna take some time. So uh, we'll be back when this test is completed. So I will have a link in the description down below for this battery and also for the Maker Hawk uh, battery capacity tester if you want to get one for yourself. So uh, I do get a small commission, but it really helps out the channel if you purchase these products through my link. So we've been running this test overnight. Next morning, we can see here, still running. We have met the 100 amp hour capacity. Right now we're 100.51 amp hours on this test and we're still at 12.2 volts. The low voltage cutoff on this battery is 10 volts. 
So we still got two and a half volts to go before that BMS would even drop out. So it definitely meets the advertised capacity. Let's go ahead and disconnect the tester. We're gonna put this in our DIY portable solar generator in parallel with another 100 amp hour mini and uh, show you that setup. Okay, we just got done installing the uh, leap holes. All right, 100 amp hour mini into our DIY solar generator, right? We have another uh, 100 amp hour mini right here, exact same size, all the specifications are the same, so they're gonna work great together. We have them hooked in parallel, right? So it's still a 12 volt system, except now we have 200 amp hours combined, right? Here is our alternating current module. We have our inverter down here in the bottom. We're gonna hook this thing up. Uh, test this out just to make sure everything's working. All right, we got it all hooked up, everything's set up. We can monitor the amps right here with our battery monitor. So let's get in close. This is 1500 watts, should be 125 amps. Pulling through out of those batteries. 126 amps right now. And now we're gonna turn on this little vacuum cleaner, which is gonna draw a lot more amps. So right now we're drawing 200 amps shared between two batteries. So that BMS definitely holds that 100 amp capacity. So that Lee Plus 100 amp hour mini, great little battery, standard size mini battery, has the handles on it, 100 amp BMS, uh, low temperature protection on it, everything you need in a little lithium battery. So uh, from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, Bloop.